Hi, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use your Gmail to send from your other email addresses. At the same time, I'll also show you how you can still use Gmail to receive from your other email addresses. So that will look something like this. For example, if I go into my Gmail and I say compose, usually you only have one option here. But in this case, you'll have another option whereby you can select another email address you own. For example, this is admin at margareports.cloud, which is another service or another website where I have an email address. I can choose that email address and then write to the person whom I'm going to send an email address to. I can add a subject and then I can write my email right here and then I can send. So when this email goes out, it will appear that I used my other professional email address, which is at admin at margareports.cloud. Let's dive straight in and see how we can configure that. To start off, you need to have that email address. And in this case, if you are the web admin, to create that email address or a professional email address or a private email address, you basically come to emails under your cPanel and then you are going to come right here and say create. Then you will have this domain where you are going to create an email address for. Then the username, I would say Hamza at margareports.cloud and then I'll provide a password. So the password is here and then I'll basically create that email address. So this is like signing up with any other platform. However, in this case, I'm creating a professional email address or a private email address that is under a specific domain name. I can open up that email address. If I open up that email address into my webmail account, that means this is the account where you are in most cases going to be receiving and sending your emails on the other hand, if you already have this email address that was created for you probably by your web admin or was provided to you by your administrator, that means that you have access to that email account. And to be able to log into that email account, you'll basically go to that website, let me say margareports.cloud forward slash webmail. And once this loads up, it will provide you an option where you'll enter your email address, which is your private email address, and the password and then log in. Once you log in, you'll have an interface just like this, whereby you can compose messages, you can see what is in the inbox, what is in the send, the junk and all that stuff. What you want to do is to use your Gmail address, which you already have, to do all the work that you were supposed to be doing inside your webmail address. In most cases, when your web admin creates this webmail address, which is in this case hamza at margareports.cloud, you always have this default message that comes in your web address. And this will give you all the settings, the email configurations you can use to set up your Gmail account with your webmail account. And these are the settings that come in this default email. However, if you don't receive this email, you may simply ask your web admin or your web host to provide you this setting so that you can easily configure up your Gmail with your webmail account. Now, let's just head straight in and see how we can now get started in uh, configuring our Gmail with these settings. Once we are done with that, we just come to Gmail, come to settings and our Gmail. Once that loads up, come to accounts and import, then come under here, send mail as, you see, I already added another one, which I already showed you at the intro of this video called admin at Maga reports. Now I'm going to add another email. Once I click here, add email address to send emails as, just it will bring me here then I can add the name in this case the name that will appear whenever I send out my emails so in this case I'll say Kwehangana Hamza and then the email address the email address that I want to connect to is Hamza at Maga Cloud Hamza at Maga Reports dot cloud You'll have to tick this because you want that whenever you send out your emails, they will appear like you used your webmail address to actually send out these emails. Once you have that checked, go to next. 
and then now you're going to set up your SMTP server where the other configurations now come into play so when we go to our webmail and then we look up for this section if you are into your cpanel you basically come to connect to devices and that will take you to this window and then you have also the same mail client manual settings right here so in this case we are going to use a secure ssl stroke tls settings which are the recommended ones the same you still have here in your webmail if you don't have the cpanel access we are going to set up our smtp which is the outgoing server we are going to copy this url here and then we also keep in mind the port which is 465 then come to our window here where we are setting up our email and then we are going to paste that URL and then we select the port which is 465 and then here the username is actually the email address Cloud. And then the password is actually your password that you created for your email or the password that you are granted to use for your email and now we can say add it should be a correct password now we are going to receive a code in our hamza at margareports.cloud email so i'll have to now go to the inbox and wait a bit for that email just takes a couple of seconds or minutes to reach so once that that email arrives i'll just copy a code that special code i'll paste it here and then i'll verify my email address so in this case the email has now arrived the confirmation and then i basically just come over here copy this code then go back to this other window paste the code then i verify boom now it is verified now when I come back to my Gmail, I just reload and once I reload, come back to my settings and then accounts and import, you realize I've added another email address which is Kwehangana Hamza, Hamza at margareports.cloud. Now I can use my Gmail to send from other email addresses. Now when I go to compose, you realize that I actually have another option. I can send as Hamza at margareports.cloud. Once that is set, now we are going to go back to our Gmail settings, and then we are going to go to accounts and import, and now we are going to check mail from other accounts. So this helps you that whenever you receive an email, you can receive those emails from your other email accounts, for example, Hamza at magareports.cloud, and then you'll be able to see what new emails you have right within your Gmail, and you can respond to those emails through your Gmail, and they'll appear like you use actually your webmail. In this case, you'll forget your webmail access, and you'll only have to use your Gmail. In this case, we're going to add our Hamza at magareports.cloud email address so that we can only receive all new emails in our gmail so we can say add mail then we can add the email address here next and then i'll say import emails from my other accounts and then i'll select the username so in this case i have to add my email as my username then I add the password for the email address and then I can add the account boom we can now receive emails from our other accounts in our Gmail so now we are going to test something we are now going to send an email so we go to compose then i'm going to write to hamza at margareports.cloud then i'm going to use my email address which is hamza at margareports.cloud i'm going to send to this email which is gotechug at gmail.com which is my other email and then i'll write a subject of testing mail then i'll say please respond 
respond to this mail and then I'll write to Hamza and that Hamza is using this email account so what we want to test now is that can Hamza receive our emails and then can he also respond to those emails so let me now write to him so I send once I send that email here it will appear to be sent when I go to send this is what we see we sent using our Hamza at magareports.cloud and then this is the email that is being sent to so now I'll go and check my email I'll sign in so once I'm signed into obviously that email should appear right here boom we have our email it is from Hamza and he is testing and he's saying please respond so when I open this email it appears to come from Hamza at margareports.cloud so now let me respond to this person's email I'll say email received thank you for the work so I'll say send now look at this I am replying to Hamza at margareports.cloud and I'm using my other Gmail address so now when I send him an email he will be in position to receive that email straight in his gmail account okay so but remember i have sent this email to his other private email which is based on the webmail system or based on their website but in this case he's going to receive it within here the gmail address of his because we configured it that he can receive emails from his other email accounts right within his gmail and at the same time he can send his emails of other accounts right within his gmail account also when we come to the settings we are able to see when gmail last checked our other inbox so come to accounts and then i can come here to check mail from other accounts and say last checked one minute ago so i can also say check now and that means that gmail will go and again try to check my email account if there are any new emails when i come here boom the email has arrived it has arrived from hamza which is this email that we had sent to and he replied to our other email and this is what he responded email received thank you for the work that's how you can use gmail to receive and send using your other email accounts i hope this helps thank you so much for watching and uh, in case you're new to this channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out new other tutorials just like this thank you so much for watching and seeing the next one peace